Good morning, everybody. It's a Thursday. Doing a pool deck today, a stamp concrete pool deck. It's almost a thousand square feet. Got the conveyor here, as you can see. We got to reach the other side of the pool. The access isn't that great. But we got it all formed up, got the wire in it. Almost ready to go. Show you the stamps we're using. We're using a field stone stamp. So that's the pattern we're going to use. This looks like big field stones. These stamps go together pretty good. They're pretty easy to use. So we're going to get out of here in a minute. Just getting the truck mixed up. We got 3500 psi. We got a 3/8 mix today. We like stamping the 3/8 stone versus the three-quarter stone. Just seems to get a little better texture and imprint you know impression of the stamp on it so we use the smaller rock it's starting to act up it's still annoyed in that yeah yeah there's one on order okay i'm gonna go slow that belt also starting to throw rocks yeah so i'm gonna slow the belt down okay so it's not that's beautiful all right yeah so i'll slow it down mike so it's not so yeah it might take a little bit longer but yeah okay thank you You like it tight, Matt. We like yes, it tight, sir. buddy. Yes, sir. Should I put some plastic over there? It would be, it would okay, be I got some. He wants us to put some plastic over there. He just he's afraid he's gonna cover it. No, we'll just unroll the whole thing, and then we'll just take it off after. Go that way, Luke. Go that way. That'll help a little bit, won't it? The more you go that way, the better, yeah. It'll be all right. Fifteen. Good. Go ahead. Go ahead, run it. Yeah. Good morning. How's it going? Good. Well, this concrete took an hour and a half to get to the job today, and you know when you're stamping, you know that yeah, the concrete's warm. It's already hot when it gets here, so it's going to set up fast. So you know. We, we really wanted a little bit more of a distance between the first truck and the second truck. Second truck's here already. We wanted about a half hour distance. He shows up about 10 minutes after the first truck. And because that's going to help us with stamping, it doesn't really have anything to do with pouring it. But we'll have to deal with it. This stuff's already hot, so we'll just have to make sure we stay right on top of it. It's a pretty good sized pool for stamping. That's why we're you know, we wanted a little bit distance. That gives us enough time to not only get the first truck poured, but then when it comes to stamping, we can get the first truck stamped 
and then by the time we get the first one done, the second one's getting ready. So now the concrete's gonna dry or cure uh, just about all the same. So we're gonna have to really be hustling when we go to stamp this thing. going too fast. Yeah, but there, I only need boo bud. I say we get to right about here. And then we'll move him over just to make sure. You got can he see you? Can empty the belt mat. Okay, I gotta get you over so we can come back around the other way. I was kinda hoping to get you over where he is up just a little bit beyond the corner. Okay. Maybe. Can Wherever. you do can you do that with the way it's out like I that? Can. I know. Of course. Messing with you. <laughs> that's that's what I wanna hear right there, buddy. You need, brother. Anything? When it comes to that. Within reason, right? Within reason. So we're moving it, I'm moving it <coughs> because I want to make sure we can get the pot that we can't reach with a regular truck with a conveyor. So we can now reach this with a regular truck. So now let's get him over there with a the conveyor. We'll just come down as far as he goes and empty him. He's got seven and a half. He has four and a half. So we kind of planned it that way. Perfect, perfect. Now we don't even need to shoot. Possible to give that like two or three gallons? Two or three? Yeah, just yes, to grab that come along for a sec, we'll get going. You do it, shrinking that in. Tell him to move it out this way. He's pulling it back. Making it harder on me. Go. Okay, pull ahead, please. It goes quick. Uh, it's okay. Once yeah. While. I'm not trying to mess with no, it. No, no, it's, it's perfect. Just, I can't get. I don't care. I'm just happy you came to work today, bud. That's all I care. <laughs> Anything else is a bonus. That's all we care about. Yes, and we're sir. glad we see you. Happy face. <laughs> we planned on him doing three quarters of it and you doing like a quarter. That was the kind of the plan. Yeah. That helps us out when we stamp it too. Oh, yeah. Not just about porn. Actually more about stamping than it is the porn part. Yeah. That's why we kind of wanted you, not the next truck after him, but the... I don't know if he loaded you guys back to back or what he did, but no, he was uh, supposed to wait a truck in between. Yeah, he did. Okay, good. Yeah. He's gonna empty him out, Javi, okay? He's gotta be about out. Tia, can you help them guys for a minute? Thank you, Matt. Probably start you over there, okay? Yeah. 
Going good. First truck down. Second truck's showing up. Just about what we figured right here. About three quarters and then one quarter. Tight spot here. Tight spot. Nice. He's a good driver. like about a four. Back it up a little bit. It still looks a little dry, but back it up. Yeah, I'd give it about 12. Okay. Wow. That's going. All I say. wow. Going. Going, yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm going to have to. I thought I'd be able to stay later. I got to run to work. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to leave the slider open in case you guys got to use the bathroom or okay. water or whatever. Yeah. Um, no dogs in there, so just watch the dogs. Yeah, yeah. He do I was thinking, because he was saying you guys after tomorrow, you're not going to be back till Tuesday. Right. Did I put that fence up all the way around so critters don't get out on this, or does it matter? Like your dog? I can keep the dog like A off. squirrel or a chipmunk or a groundhog, that's not going to bother it. No? No. I mean, I don't know, do you have deer walking around here too? No. No. That, not really. You probably don't have to then. Okay. No, should be fine. Alright, well yeah. thank you. You're welcome. Can you mag after I both all this, can you mag that edge? Got a little wire sticking up right about three feet to the right of that ladder. Just have to remember that we go out to mag it. Ground wire popping up. I don't know if it's a ground wire or just regular wire. What do we do with that wire pole? Look for shoes. Found the wire pole is over there. Okay. You, don't, you probably don't have to keep getting in and out if you don't want to. This time's all right, okay? Yep. We'll get a little more here and then probably set you over a little bit. Right. Maybe we won't have to. Let's see. Hey Tia, hold, did you get out of the way just for a minute? Right. Harvey, I'll help you. Hold on, I'm gonna grab a come along. Oh, 
Both sides. Uh, if you stay about three or four inches away from the coping, stay away. yeah, we'll, and we'll mag that. That way, the bow float don't suck it. Funny, yeah. Could pull ahead a little bit and wash right there, I think. Okay. About five or six feet. Yeah. Yeah, we. He, I'll let him come down a little bit more than we just have that little sliver to get our way out of here. Alright, so pour's done. Now we gotta let it cure up a little bit and then the real work starts. The pouring is the easy part. Stamping is stamping's gonna be where we're really busting it. Hopefully the it stays overcast and cloudy like this. That's gonna help us a little bit. Sun comes out, boy, we're gonna be moving. So, catch back up to you in a couple minutes. <laughs>